I think this entry is just cursed. I uh, went on this long spiel and only 53 seconds of it recorded because I got a low battery warning and I can't see the other side of the phone right now. So here goes nothing. This is my brothers and me in front of our old house in the 80s. We were a really poor family back then and it was college education that helped us dig out of the hole. And that's the topic today. I work for a college. I love it. In fact, it's my college degrees that allows me to work at this job where I get paid fairly well with benefits to do photography and graphic design and videography. It definitely keeps me busy. So this is an experiment. I'm going to call it Thursday Thoughts. I'm in the uh, YouTube. I'm in what you might call the YouTube plateau where not much is happening, but I'm doing stuff and I'm going to just keep trying to post through it, figuring out what really works for me. And we'll see how this goes. I'm talking about going to college. This room is going to go into the vlog soon and it's going to be pretty cool. I've got a, got a good plan going, and, but I do like the, I do like the adage, axiom, phrase saying that show action not intent so I'm just gonna wait until there's action don't waste your time with film school do you need to go to school for photography to be a photographer and the answer at this time is absolutely not as you can see, a lot of people have a lot of opinions about college. We now join what's left of my footage as I expound on these thoughts. Okay, so my footage had a, had a mishap, uh, you could say. It recorded at 21, frame, 21 frames per second, so this vlog is totally screwed up. But I don't want to cheat the point. And the point is that today's discussion is about if you should go to college or not, or if you need to go to college, specifically for photography and art and uh, by extension filmmaking. In my last century, I talked about how I had regrets about my early days as a photographer. What I don't regret about my early days or any days as a photographer is pursuing a higher education from junior college, community college, where I got a two-year certificate, an associate's degree, to a four-year college where I didn't take many, I took one photo class, but I still practiced photography, and that's when I really, really got into it, in, in truth. And then later in life, when I went to grad school, which we won't talk about, but I don't regret going to grad school. There's a there's a lot going on here, and you see the question is should you go to college? And my answer, my short answer is yes. My long answer is probably, and it's more important than you think. But you got to have a plan. Uh, like Cade on DSLR Guide, uh, he he was talking, he was trying to decide. This is a couple years ago, but I, I don't completely know what he did. But he was trying to decide if he should go to school or not. Uh, or go to university for for filmmaking and he had a very lucid plan I'll link this uh, in my description we had a very lucid plan for what what he could get out of film school and how he could try to get that outside of film school and it was mostly sound but what I noticed about a lot of um, a lot of people who are self teachers or whatever is they tend to have gaps in their knowledge and that's uh, I don't mean that as an insult. I mean that they just don't know photo history or art history as much often. So that's something to consider. And there's uh, there's rarely there's rarely a straight line anyone should take. Because, I mean, you have Casey Neistat, who has obviously done very well and had very good points about... Okay, on one hand, you have uh, people like Elliot Erwitt... Uh, who I don't think went to photo school and uh, has said one of those guys who says that 
basically you learn everything you need to about photography from the box your film comes in with the developing directions and exposure directions and stuff if for those who don't really know anything about how film boxes were or are and uh and then you have people who thrive in the collegiate environment and really discover themselves like gregory crutzen or philip lorca de corsia or uh justin curland so uh you have a lot of a lot of variants there's no straight lines uh i think you would get a lot more out of college if you th than you think and uh debt is not all debt is created equal and you should consider that uh, unless it's a private loan and probably a private for profit college unless you get sweet scholarship money or you can actually afford it which you know go for it um so public funded government grants and loans uh, i think you should strongly consider it uh strongly consider your program though and strongly consider the work that has come out of it the instructors what they teach what you learn a, a lot of art schools tend to live in a bubble and if you don't work in that bubble what you learn is not going to go very far that's why i don't fully endorse just only taking business classes or whatever i uh i think maybe if you took some business classes however and that's a lot of programs are going that way uh learning some about business but you should also learn about history and things like that history is important and uh, it's a cliche and i sound like a liberal hippie college person but it's absolutely true you you go to college to become enlightened and to change yourself i've seen so many people and my family has really been changed by college education and if you hear rattling that's little maggie running around on the floor um but yeah um have a plan i, I i'm gonna check and see if this is even recording but yeah have a plan uh don't just go to live in an art bubble uh, you want to get your hands on that fancy equipment, but you also want to learn how to really use it so you can get by on nothing. Because I've known people who've gone to big, big art schools, big photo schools, and then graduated and they have nothing after after all those amenities. It, it can be bad. If you become dependent on, on studio access and stuff and you don't learn studio lighting, I think lighting, all lighting hinges on what falls on the subject and it doesn't matter what it falls from. You just learn the characteristics of what it falls from. This LED light that I have on me, a, a studio strobe, the sun, bounced light from the sun and studio strobe, you know, so on. It all, all, all of it falls on your subject. And, uh, and so learn about the core principles of light. And you can light with a light bulb or with a pro photo kit or whatever so uh yeah learn the actual things no matter what you do and you'll be better off so don't live in a bubble don't live in a self-taught bubble because i've seen a lot of self-righteous self-taught people who uh are one trick ponies and i've seen a lot of self-righteous educated people who live in a bubble and are one trick ponies uh so holistic education no matter where you get it from i guess is a is a good way to do to think about it and i know once again this is not a clear answer if you should go to school or not i i work at a college i work for a college the very college that actually gave me a majority of the skills i use to have this job graphic design and photography and so on uh, i am partially self-taught yes but i got a lot of knowledge from especially one teacher a handful from other professors along the way a handful of knowledge or tricks or or insights uh in being a student is the most important thing whether in your in, you're in a university or in life to change the subject real quick i recently had this photograph rejected from an instagram promo for for misusing the facebook or instagram brands go figure anyway i know i'm gonna miss all the views i got from my investment <clears throat> and while we're on other news these photographs were just published by the tyler loop a great local website if you click the card that's about to pop up around here you can see when i went out to take these photos 
I had a lot of fun. Check out their website. But yeah, uh, the whole financial situation, you should vote for people who support education, who support uh, public, free public school, like free public community college, uh, debt uh, relief, things that help pay for education, because it's not necessarily as simple a solution as some people think, but we could all get some school, and believe it or not, it is super important and super useful, and they don't teach you lies to liberalize you or whatever. Uh, you can, I, I've had, I've heard of especially professors who are on the total opposite end of that spectrum. So you get opinionated people and you learn that a lot of people are very opinionated in all directions. And what college helps you with especially is that you learn how to hear all of these opinions and discern y your idea of the truth or the closest you can gather to a truth. Or, or what you feel right about thinking is the truth. And it's not always comfortable, but it's super useful and realistic, and the world needs a whole lot more of that. So yeah, um, college is difficult right now, but it's more accessible and useful than you think. But regardless of what you do, have a plan. I support going to photo school, but if I were to go to a photo school, I mostly know about Texas schools, but I would want to go to like a Yale or maybe a University of North Texas. And if I were doing a two-year program, I would wholly endorse Odessa College. Uh, Steve Goff is their instructor, their, their like I guess lead instructor, and he's super cool. I've met him. Great guy. Um, also, West Texas has some of the absolute best landscape you've ever seen. Uh, lots of rich topics and details out there that you could really take advantage of. But since my beloved um, Kilgore College program has been shuttered uh, this year, um, I would wholly endorse that anyone who wants a great two-year college uh, photography education go to Odessa College. You'll get not only technique, but you'll also get philosophy and fine art in commercial art and it just like I did at Kilgore um, so look for things like that that's important uh, and look for things that are deeper than technique and this goes for YouTube too this is what I'm trying to contribute to YouTube that things go deeper than than technique technique is your tool for allowing your mind to reach its full potential and before I get cut off again before this becomes more cursed I'm going to bid adieu, and I will see you Sunday. I'm going to change my schedule. It's now, I, I mentioned this uh, one or two entries ago, it's now Monday morning, and I'm hoping Thursday morning turnaround's going to be better. This was late just because technical problems, And but I'm here. It's going to be Friday morning, but I uh, hope you have a great weekend. Please click subscribe. Uh, crush the like button. I like crush better than smash. Let's just say that. Crush that like button. And let's, uh, you know, uh, let me know what you want to see. I'll do my best. Uh, I'm going to, I've got some cool stuff coming up. I want to show action and not words. So it's going to come up really soon. I got some fun ideas, some live streams. So be, let me know when you would like to see a live stream because I've got some ideas and I, I want to do one, a couple actually that I think you might think are really fun, especially you analog types. Anyway, thank you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, click like, etc., etc. Tell your friends and let me know what you think. And I will see you in a couple days. I don't know how to end this.